What's up, bro? So welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm very excited to share you guys another tutorial on how to use your iPhone and Apple Watch as a remote control when doing your presentation. Okay, now let's get started. First of all, what you have to do is to make sure that your iPhone and MacBook Pro are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. As you can see from this video, my two devices are connected to Merry Christmas. This is very important. One more important thing to notice is to have Keynote installed on all devices including the Apple Watch. Okay, now it's time. Let's open Keynote on iPhone and MacBook Pro. On the Keynote on your MacBook Pro, you have to go to Keynote menu, and then Preferences, go to Remotes tab, make sure that you tick Enable. Then on iPhone, please go to the remote icon on the top right. Then click on Devices and add a device. After this, you will see a new device on the list on the MacBook Pro. Then click Link. The same code number will appear on both screens. So you have to click Confirm and that's it. Now you can just click on Play on iPhone and you are ready to go. On the top right, you can see three different icons. The last one is the Quit button, not to mention more. The middle button is where you adjust what you want to see on your iPhone screen. You can go with current slide only, current slide with note or current and next slide. My preference is current and next slide since it's very easy for me to have a quick glance at it so that I know what to expect next. While talking about slide, let's go a bit further before jumping into the last button I want to mention in this tutorial. To control your slide, you can just press anywhere on the screen or swipe from the left to the right to move to the next slide or swipe to the left to go to the previous slide. However, what if you have more than 20 slides and there's a question from the audience after your presentation? So sometimes you need to go back to, for example, slide number 3 or 5 in order to support your response. But how can you jump from your last slide, probably the slide 30, to slide number 5? That's a question, right? Because you cannot just wipe one by one in order to go uh, back to slide number 5 or the first slide of your presentation. Or you cannot just run around uh, the hall just to get into your computer and adjust to slide number 1 because it's a waste of time. Well, because of this, this is what makes Keynote even special because what you can do is just to swipe from the left edge of your phone to the right. Then all the slide thumbnails appear, which allows you to choose any slide you want to refer to. Now let's move on to the last useful feature on Keynote when using your iPhone to remote the slide. The last feature is from the first icon on the top right. What you can find from this feature is a pointer and line drawing on the slide with different colors. The pointer does a wonderful job when you are far away from your slide and you want to point to any area on the slide. By doing this, you don't have to purchase a real presentation pointer because sometimes, as you know, from a distance, you don't have to, you know, go and point using your finger right on the slide or on the screen where your slide is projected. Okay, now it's time to talk about Apple Watch. As I mentioned, you can use your watch to remote your slide without using a real pointer or using an iPhone or iPad which is too big to use as a remote control sometimes. So the Apple Watch has the capability to use these features to control over your slide. So you can move your slide forward or backward right from your watch. Okay, so on your Apple Watch, you also have to make sure that Keynote Remote is installed. If you don't know how to install apps on the Apple Watch, I will make another tutorial for you. So just let me know in the comment below. After installing the app, you have to make sure that your watch is 
connected to your iPhone. Then open the Keynote app on your Apple Watch and you will be able to control your slide. As you can see, you can move to the next slide easily. There's a button here. But how about going back? Well, to go back to the previous slide, you have to press and hold a force touch on your Apple Watch screen so that the other two buttons will pop up as you can see in this video. Well, that's easy and simple. However, what if you don't have the internet connection? Well, don't worry. What you have to do is to turn on the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on all devices like your MacBook Pro, iPhone and Apple Watch. Then you can use this remote function as normal. But I don't guarantee if it works as smooth as it does when Wi-Fi is connected to. Okay, so that's it about this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned a lot from this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so because I'm going to bring more and more useful videos in the future. I promise. So I hope to see you guys in the next videos. Thanks.